Deuteronomy 20, verse 18. Lema'an asher lo yelamedu etchem la'asot, kecho to'avotam asher asu lelohehem, v'chatatem l'adonai elohehem. So we get here this lema'an that gives us a so that. So we get a purpose clause here. A share is a little bit awkward here if we think about it uh, directly. We get so that which, but this is a way of kind of making this verbal action uh, nominal or a compliment. So we, we can kind of ignore it if we think of it here. So we have so that they will not teach you all. So here we have the verb lamad as the verbal root. We have a uh, PL, imperfect. Notice the schwa a dagesh here gives us the PL. We have a yod performative and a shurik suformative. So we're looking at a PL, imperfect, third masculine plural. They teach you. Now, lamad in the PL is going to be teach. Lamad in the call would be to learn. So here we get uh, to teach. So that they will not teach you to do. There's a call infinitive construct of the verbal root asa plus the lamed preposition to do according to all of their abominations. Now notice here we get the three MP pronominal suffix, but abomination is toava with the kamets he at the end. And so we get oat because it's plural. So their abominations. And then these are the abominations further modified by the relative clause, which they do. There's a call perfect third common plural of the same verbal root we saw above with asa, according to all of the abominations which they do to their gods, to their gods. And there's the three MP pronominal suffix on a, uh, on a plural noun. Finally, we get and you sin against the Lord your God. There's a 2MP pronominal suffix there. Go back to the verb, and we get the 2MP verb. Notice the tem ending here. The verbal root is chet, tet, aleph, and this would be and you sin. And so the desire in the previous verse to devote them to destruction is so that they will not teach you to do all of their abominations and therefore sin against the Lord your God.